good YouTube. In today's video, I'm be answering the questions that some people are scared to ask boxers, and I'm be answering some of the stereotypical questions that y'all have for us boxers. Let's get straight to it. All right, the first question is: Are you concerned about the impact boxing may have on your brain later in life? Yes and no. I'm gonna say yes because you know I'm gonna get hit, and you know it's gonna build up, cause trauma. But also no because me and my dad and my trainer. Well, my dad's last trainer take pride in defense. So, no, I'm not worried about it because I, how much me and my dad work on defense, I'm not, I don't get hit that much. So, no. The second question is, how do you manage the emotional weight of potentially injuring your opponents in the ring? I would say, um, really, it's just like, they trying to hurt you as well. So, like, you really... It's kind of like a, it goes both ways. It's like that dude in there trying to hurt you. So you're not thinking about how much you're going to hurt, how much they can hurt you, if, you, if that makes sense. Because, like, the energy is going both ways. That's the best way I could put it. So that's how I manage with it. That's how I think about it. Like, it's coming both ways. He's trying to hurt me. I'm trying to hurt him. So I don't really, you know, think about it like, yeah, I might, I could potentially kill him or potentially cause um, permanent damage to his brain. but. Because at the same time, he's doing the same thing to me. The third question is, have you ever regretted pursuing boxing as a career path? No, not at all. It helped me with a lot of things. It helped me with the way I think. It helped me with my discipline. It helped me It helped me in so many different ways that, like, boxing helped you with so many different ways that people could ever imagine. So definitely not at all. Okay, the fourth question is, do you ever feel pressured to maintain a tough image outside of boxing? No, absolutely not. I feel like what stays in the gym, what happens in the gym stays in the gym. Outside the gym, I live a normal life. I'm goofy, as y'all can tell. I have fun. Like, I don't put on a tough guy act outside the gym, nor do I put on a tough guy act in the gym. I'm goofy in the gym. If y'all have seen previous videos, or if you knew, you can go watch other videos where I'm in the gym, we dance, we have fun. So I definitely don't, you know, try to keep up with the tough guy act. There's no point. Have, the fifth question is, have you ever grappled with addiction or substance abuses or substance abuse issues outside of boxing? No, absolutely not. Some people may say yes. You know, a lot of boxers, they say they smoke, they drink. I don't do none of that personally. I feel like there's no benefit in it. Like some people, you know, they got like anxiety. I don't have none of that stuff. So I don't see why I would use those type of things. So no. The sixth question is, how do you balance your boxing careers with your family's well-being? Well, number one, my family is a boxing family, so they all understand the things that go into boxing, and they all support it. So we all like one, like just because I'm the only fighter, like my dad's the coach, my little brother's the cameraman, my little brother's the assistant coach, my mom's the, you know, she's a support, my, everybody's support. So like, we always together in this, so it's like, we don't really have to navigate it because, like, everything we do, we do it together. Like, we lock in on it together. So, yeah. The eighth question is, wait, no, seventh, my bad. The seventh question is, have you ever experienced discrimination or prejudice within the Boston community? I'm going to say, personally, yes and no. Because, you know, certain judges like certain styles and they start to treat you different if you box, you know, a certain type of way. Or, you know, you look a certain type of way. They, it's often, it happens oftenly. But I'm going to say with me, yes and no. Because, like, the way I box, I, like, I just outmatch the class most of my opponents. So, they really can't do that. Like, they can't not like my style because I make my opponent look, like, way lesser than me. So, that's why I say it's kind of within the yes and no. The next question is, do you harbor fears about life post-retirement from boxing? No, I don't. I have no fear because at the end of the day, it's a sport. All great things going to come to an end. I'm going to get old and I'm going to have to retire. So, no, I feel like once I retire, my life probably will be a lot less stressful. It will probably be a lot more freedom, more spending time with my family. Not saying that I don't spend time with family, but it's going to be even easier because – how I picture myself retiring, I'm going to be an undisputed champion. I have a lot of money, a lot of things going on. So I feel like my life going to be very free and stressful. Yeah, I'm going to miss going to the gym, but it's not like 
just because I'm retired don't mean I can't go train or I can't go spar. It's just I'm not fighting competitively no more. So, no, I don't. Last question for some questions that they are scared to ask boxers is, how do you transition from a high-intensity adrenaline rush of a fight to a normal day of life? Um, Like I said, like whatever goes on in the ring stays in the ring. Like Us boxers don't just... Meanwhile, keep it rolling. <laughs> Don't, you know, like stay the same way or um, like act the same way how we were acting a fight than we do outside the ring. Like a lot of people is very goofy outside the ring. So it just depends on how you like how what type of person you are. Like me personally, like in the gym, I'm I'm still me. I'm goofy. I'm I'm serious when I got to be serious. But I just like. Boxing isn't as serious as a lot of people think. Like, it's serious, but, like, you can still be you. You don't have to put on a tough guy act. So there's no really, like, a transition with me. Like, it's just a sport at the end of the day. That's all it is. Number four is who is your dream opponent, whether from the past or present? My dream opponent, I got a couple of them. I want to fight Floyd. I want to fight Shakur Stevenson. I want to fight Terrence Crawford. I want to fight any of the big names. Anybody who got a legacy that you can think about and be like, he could be number one pound for pound, Canelo, any of those guys. Not saying I'm a, well, of course I believe I'm going to beat them. I'm not trying to be cocky or nothing, but what I'm saying is I want to fight them. I want to see where I stack up against the greats. So any of the greats. Next one is what's the hardest punch you've ever taken? The hardest punch I ever taken was I was sparring a pro one day and I made a rookie mistake and I threw a punch and slipped the opposite way. So like, you know how you throw a right hand, you're supposed to fall off to the left. I threw the right hand and went to the right, but I didn't go under, you know, slide around. And he caught me with a mean hook. That mug, boy, I was, my eyes were spinning. My dad probably knows exactly who I'm talking about. But yeah, he cracked me. That was the hardest punch I ever got hit with by him. Number six is, how do you mentally prepare for a major fight? Um, You really just got to tell yourself, this This is what I do. Like, that's really what I tell myself. I tell myself, I'm here for a reason. This is what I do. You know, like, you got to tell yourself. Like, you got to give yourself that confidence. Like, when you walk in the ring, like, I'm me. I, I'm here for a reason. That's how I prepare myself for it. I tell myself that I'm here for a reason. So, I'm good enough, obviously, if I'm here. If I made it this far... I can keep going. That's basically, I keep it plain and simple. Number seven is, could you share the most memorable fight of your career thus far? The most memorable fight would probably be when I went to my first national tournament and I lost in the semifinals to a guy who had over 100 fights and it was only like my fifth fight. I'm going to say that because after that fight, I turned, like, I went crazy, like, it was a turn, like, I don't know how can I put it, but, like, it was, like, the kick in the butt I needed to tell myself I need to take it up a notch, like, these dudes in here not playing, like, yeah, it was my fourth fight, I was new, but, like, I told myself after that fight, I was, like, these dudes out here that's fighting, they got multiple fights, I want to look like I got multiple fights with only having less than 10 fights. So after that fight, I kind of just, I flipped that switch on and turned it all the way up. Number eight is, what advice would you offer to inspiring boxers? I would say, if you want to do it, don't play. Like, take it serious. It's not nothing to play with at all. You can die in the ring anytime you step in the ring at any moment. So I would say, make sure you run. I got that problem too, bro. I know. Everybody hate running. There's not a boxer in this world that you can tell me and say, I love running. You might love to work hard, but there's no boxer that can tell me that they love running. Because we all love to work hard. All of us hate running. But definitely run. Stay consistent. Don't try to box like nobody else. And take your time. Don't rush in there your first day and they're trying to show the role like Floyd Mayweather, bro. Sure. Canelo comes in on him, jab, 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 miss, 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 miss with the right hand. There he is again, miss, 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 all misses. Take your time, 
being there, learning the basics. Just take your time. Consistency, take your time and run, bro. That's all you need. How do you maintain discipline in terms of diet and nutrition? I'm going to be real with you. I'm not very good at dieting. But when it's time to fight, how I do it is I give myself healthy things that I like. Like I try to find like, okay, like chips. Everybody likes chips, right? So I try to find like the veggie straws. Like I try to find stuff like that that's really healthy, like that's not high in sugar, high in calories. Like I try to give myself the alternative of everything. Like fruit snacks, I find the sugar-free fruit snacks. Like I just do everything like chicken. Like I might just grill it. Like I just everything I do, I try to find the alternative healthy way. So and also when I'm dieting for fights and, or I'm just dieting in general, trying to cut weight, I give myself one cheat day out the week. I usually do it on a Sunday because that's probably the best way to do it. You know, you got a week ahead and you already just went through a week. You could cheat. I give myself a Sunday every day or every week. I give myself a cheat day on Sundays. And that's really how I maintain. Like, I'm not good at it. I'm going to be real with y'all. But when it's time to fight, I lock in and I give myself that one cheat day. But two weeks before the fight, I lock in, no cheat days, no nothing. Strictly all the good stuff. The final question is, what are your aspirations for your career in the coming years? Should have been a little bit more specific with that question, but I'm going to just give you from the next three years, five years to 10 years. Next three years, I want to win more than national titles. I want to become better defensively, offensively, mentally, spiritually, every way, every which way I want to. Um, Next five years, I want to be pro starting, you know, I wouldn't say a world title because that might be a little crazy, but hopefully next five years, or not 20, would I be 21? Maybe a contender. I would say contender. Next 10 years, definitely I want one or two, three world titles, you know, keep going on. 10 year, open my own gym, all that. So long run, open my own gym couple world titles, if not undisputed, um, training people, motivating the youth, and doing things like that. I like to keep it simple. You know. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, check out me, man. I'm cool, bro. I got a lot of different content out here. I got some funny stuff. I got serious stuff like this. I got boxing, reaction videos. Let me know what y'all want to see. We're going to catch y'all in the next one. Oh no, got too many people watching me, bye. Damn, Jay Bird, merch, that's you. <laughs>